So over time, leaders develop patterns and habits in the way we approach things. And often those patterns and habits have worked really well for us in the past. And the problem with them is that we get so used to them that we can forget what the situation calls for and just rely on our own habits. And that's why Dave Snowden's Kinevin framework is really helpful, both for us to use to think about ourselves and to use to think about how do we address things with teams. Snowden's framework makes the big distinction between those things which are predictable and those things which are unpredictable. In the predictable world, you can expect things to repeat time after time. They just cycle around. In the unpredictable world, though, things are really different. They don't necessarily happen again in the way they've happened before. He further then separates the predictable world into two different categories. The things that are obvious are those things that everybody agrees. The connection between cause and effect is so tight, it's so apparent, it's so clear that there's best practice around that stuff. It's well researched. So those are the things like, say, there's a recipe for it almost. Like you bake a cake one time, you know how it's going to come out. You bake it again, it's going to come out the same way if you use the same ingredients and the same recipe. And in the obvious space, you should be able to get things that repeat predictably time after time using best practices and recipes, checklists, things like that. In the complicated space, which is the other domain Snowden talks about in the predictable world, in the complicated space, it's different. There is a connection between cause and effect, but it's kind of fuzzy, and you need experts to figure it out. So things repeat over time, but you need a lot of experience or domain expertise to know which approach to take. This isn't the place where we'd have best practice, because experts might disagree about this, these things. This is the place we'd have good practice, where solid experts with really good research or experience would say, I think you should go this way. Another expert might say, I think you should go this other way. But in general, they're going in the same direction. Things like um, really hard things that have lots of moving parts can be in this category. Things like bringing a person to the moon, making a rocket ship go to the moon. That lives in this domain, in fact. So you get engineers and scientists and um, people in charge of rockets and fuel, and all those folks each work together on their own piece. You put it together, and you have a machine that will take you someplace wonderful. When you cross over into the unpredictable domain, actually the rules all change and how we act as leaders also needs to change. Over here you can't tell what's going to happen next simply because it's happened before. You need to come up with new approaches, novel approaches, safe to fail experiments to figure out um, how to nudge the system in a new direction. People say parenting isn't rocket science, but actually rocket science is in the complicated domain. Parenting is in the complex domain. Leading people is in the complex domain. Culture change is in the complex domain. These are things that just because they happened one way once, you can't count on them happening that way again. Then Snowden offers us the chaotic domain. And in chaos, there's no connection between cause and effect. We just can't make out the patterns. There, a leader's job is to stabilize the system and see if over time patterns can emerge. We experiment our way, safe to fail experiments in the, comp in the complex space, and then eventually some things will become predictable and repeatable over time. You can move them across the Kinevin map into the complicated space, and then maybe even some of those things become obvious over time. And in that way, as leaders use the whole of the Kinevin map, they can fit their style and their problem-solving approach to the actual conditions at hand instead of relying on our habits, which might take us really well in one area and not so well in another area.